Good evening. Welcome to the beauty room. You know, as your girl is on, that's me. The time now is 10.54 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Today is March 19th, 2022. It is a Saturday evening, so I hope you all had a great weekend. Still enjoying it. Had some fun today. Had fun Friday. What did you all do? Um, how was your plans? How was your week so far? Wherever you are, city and state that you are. And yes, remember I was telling you how I want to do a Q&A. So if you have more questions for me, hop on to my IG. My Instagram is at Don Martindale. I would love to connect with you and be friends with you. And yeah, and we can follow each other. If you have any questions that you have for me, please let me know in my Instagram. Connect with me there. And also go on to YouTube. It's called The Beauty Room. It's the Beauty Room channel. That is me, Don. Yeah, so I had a great week. I had a good weekend so far. I've been working all week and working this weekend. And yeah, I hope you are going to enjoy some more fun. If you have more family fun night or any friends coming over for, you know, the adults have the adult time. You know, the kids are with the grandparents having grandparent time. Enjoying the, they're enjoying their grandparents, excuse me. Yes, so this shirt is from Walmart. This was a couple years ago. They had like a sale for like five dollars. And when I saw these, I grabbed this one and the the pink one or fuchsia one that I have. And also, I grabbed a, a white and gray one that looked just like this type of design and material, but I think it's like different, like a snake type of. With the, like different design material but that one's white and gray but these are very comfortable warmish because it's about uh, what's the weather degrees it's about 40 degrees you know Fahrenheit cloudy it was raining last night raining this morning it's been raining on and off here in the state of Michigan that is where I'm at but fun fact about me is I'm from Los Angeles California born and raised a native and my favorite food is spaghetti that's my favorite food yes yeah, so what is your favorite food you know what do you all like but i do love spaghetti and i also love chinese food those two are my favorite things about me for in fact if you want to know that about me i am 44 he is about to, i'm sorry about to be 44 in april in a few more weeks i got like three more weeks to go and i'll be 44 yes yeah, so I'm saying it now, might as well, you know, but no, I'm still 43. I'll be 44 in April, and then after that, three more months to Hamilton and I. Big day, beautiful, blessed day. And yes, I do have a question from my Instagram, from somebody on Instagram. And the question is, like, how did Hamilton and I meet? meet? Well, I was working where we work at is at a grocery store. It's, um, it's in Michigan, so it's not far from where we live at down the street. And, yeah, so that's where we met at. But we became really good friends. But when we saw each other, we were just like, wow, hello. <laughs> we were just so happy and excited to, you know, get to know each other. But we became really good friends uh, when we start talking. We took at least like three months to really get to know each other you know how you want to get to know a dude you know what i mean and you don't want you know you don't want to be so rushy you know so rushy with a new relationship just starting out so ladies um if you want to be in an, in a relationship or you already are are you trying to talk to somebody take your time with that person with that guy you know or that significant other that you want you know just be friends be 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 good friends first for three months, six months, even a year or two or more. So you can really, really get to know that person. Doesn't matter what age you are, you can be in your mid twenties, twenties, mid thirties, late thirties, forties, even, okay, ladies, or your mid forties like me, you know. Uh, but yeah, um him Hamilton and I we took our time because we didn't want to rush into things, so we became really good friends. We went out on several dates. Our first date was at Walmart. So, but yeah, but we met at where we work at. And that's how we became good friends. We connected, you know, on Facebook. And he was asking me, do I have a Facebook or do I have Instagram? And do I have a YouTube channel? I said, yeah, I have a YouTube channel. So 
he checked out my YouTube channel and he checked out my Facebook and we that's how we just became really good friends too. But we saw each other every day, but not like every single day, just talked for like a few minutes. But after that month or so, we really liked each other. You know, of course everybody in the store knew, but not really knew. You know how people, you know, try to guess other people's relationship or new relationship. You got co workers that are just Yep, 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 you know, but the co-workers that we have at our job are really cool. They're really kind, you know, they keep to ourselves, they keep to their selves, and Hamilton and I keep to ourselves, but yeah, but um, yeah, that's how, that's how we met. We just met at work. Um, we work at the same place, but in different departments, so yeah, that's how we met. We became good friends. We um, exchanged numbers. Our first date was at Walmart, and Ever since then, Hamilton and I have been inseparable. So, you know, now, you know, we're in, we've been in engaged since last year. He asked me last February, February 14th of 2021. That's when he asked me to be his his wifey poo. And I said, yes. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how we became engaged. And, like, we, then a year before we got engaged was 2020, was two years with the COVID. But we've been together. He moved in with me and everything in 2020. And in 2021, we was together for a year. And then 2021, um, we had our first anniversary. And we just became really good friends. But, you know, best friends, you know. That's how you want to get to know somebody. Become their friends first. See how they are. See how they click with your, you know, with your friends, you know. And then get, you know, then when you're alone with him, you know, in your personal time, in your space, make sure he's the one or she's the one, guys. You know what I mean? See her good side. See her bad side, you know. Because you, I don't know if you want to see her angry side or not, but, you know, that's up to you all. But that's just what I'm saying. Um, you know, I'm not saying, you know, piss her off <laughs> like that. Please don't do that. But, guys, you know, give a woman patience, time. If she doesn't want to, you know, see you for a week or two, you know, and she needs her own space, let her do her own thing, you do your own thing, and then connect back to one another because that's definitely important. And then that's how you, you know, you know if you've been with that girl now for a year, a year and let's say a year and three months. Now, you know that your wife, you know, girls, the same thing. If you've been with that guy for a year, three months or six months, and you know that's your husband to be, you know, you know him from the good side, the, the, the bad side, the inside, the outside of him. You know how he is. You know how she is, fellas. You know, I'm just saying, you know. But just take your time getting to know some, get getting to know someone because that's how me and Hamilton are. We just took our time to get to know each other. We didn't rush anything. Then our second date was at Walmart again, you know, because I love Walmart and he and he likes Walmart. So that was our second and first date. And then we went to other stores, you know, we went to out to Kansas. We went out to eat. We went to like a Mexican restaurant because that's my third favorite place to eat. It's a Mexican restaurant. Second place is Chinese food. And my first is my homemade spaghetti. So, yes, if you want the recipe of my homemade spaghetti or my homemade mashed potatoes, put it in the Instagram and I'll leave it, actually I'll leave it in the, in the description box below. You know, it's pretty long so that way you'll know, that way you know if you want to make a good meal for you and your girl or, you know, guys and if girls, if you want to make a good meal for you and your man, trust me, the mashed potatoes and spaghetti, whoo, get you a proposal. <laughs> oh yeah, or get you a third date, you know, so yeah. But tonight's tutorial is just going to be about my eyebrows for 2022 of how I do them. But yeah, but that's how me and Hamilton met. If you want to know, that's how we met and became really good friends. And now we're besties. And now we're getting engaged and we're married, about to be married, actually, in four months. So we're definitely, definitely excited. We are truly blessed to find, to find one another. You know, because ladies, it, it's hard to find a really, really good guy, you know. And, you know, even if you go to church, ladies or guys, if you go to church and you want a good church woman, there's nothing wrong with that. But take your time, you know. Be patient, you know. That's what that's what the deal down is these days anyway, is, is to be patient, you know. 
don't rush in the relationship because you see your your friends in a relationship and you want one there's nothing wrong with wanting one but just take your time get to know yourself first love yourself first get to know what you like to do what you don't like to do or if you want to do something different or fun you know with a few people you know just a few not a whole lot you know because you are probably still leery about the COVID-19 I can understand that too I deeply understand about I do deeply understand about that but yeah but just take your time getting to know somebody because you know you may never know what side they have you know so yep I'm just taking my mirror that I have this is from from five below for five dollars I'm sorry by name I'm so sorry but yeah this is from five dollars I mean from five below store yeah and I'm just taking this this pencil here and I'm just basically coloring it in to my eyebrows. Okay. And definitely take your time when you do your eyebrows. Make sure that, you know, it's all in place with how you want it to be. And then if you don't want your eyebrows to be too light, you can take a black pencil. But just do it on the end so it won't look too, you know, too black, you know. So, yeah. So, if you are a fan of video games... Definitely go to Twitch TV. It's Twitch TV. Go to Aries Gaming 90s. It's with the um, the lime green um, circle. And then it's the Aries um, sign that says Aries sign. And then Aries Gaming 9 comma S. And that's his Twitch you know, TV channel. If you want to go there, check them out. Girls and guys, there's nothing wrong with that. Because I play video games too. And I do watch him and I do support him on anything that he does and love to do and have a passion for it. It's like the same thing he does with me. Hamilton, he makes sure he does the same thing with me. So we basically just support one another, you know. And and if you have a best friend that you've been liking growth, you know, since you were both let's say in the middle in middle school and you are now an adults now like in your 30s and you really want to get to know him you know get to know him you know because times do change you know when you see somebody you know from then to now you know oh, i want to just just take your time you know it's no rush to be in a relationship because you see everybody else in one or you see your best friends in one you know and there's nothing wrong too ladies you know if your best friends want to set you up on a blind date it's nothing wrong with that but just be safe with that now these days because you know because there's so much things are going on right now you know it's it's horrible it's just ter it's, it's terrible so just basically just be careful take your time get to know somebody you know become friends first you know always 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 that is a must get to know that person first and let them get to know you too as well this is a pretty good pencil this is from stylist eyebrow pencil in dark brown this was this is like a dollar 99 this is from my local beauty supply store not the one that i shop at in my area but in a different area where i used to live at before i came back to westland yeah this is only like a dollar 99 so definitely check out your local beauty supply store that you shop at for your hair needs or beauty needs or whichever you know, and then they also begin to have clothes, too, in there, too. Some cute clothes. This one cute outfit I wanted to get, I think it was, like, 20, either 20 or 20, or between 20 and $30. It was, like, a, a like a light, medium pink. It was real cute. It had the drawstring. It had the hoodie, you know. It was, like, midriff. Not too, like, high, but it was just, like, right there. You can wear, like, a tank top, you know, with the um, thick straps. Or you can wear a thin one with the spaghetti straps and still look cute. And then the pants were like flurry out. It's kind of cute. I wanted to get it, but I was like, no, I got too many clothes <laughs> already in my dang own closet. And then my, I'm hanging up on a rack too. I have a lot of clothes. I have more than ones that I wore from, uh, from Sheen that I ordered like last year. So if you've seen, um, if those, any videos that you like to see, definitely go into my playlist. Um, it's there. So definitely check those out as well. So, yeah, if you want to make this look like a darker look, you can. Oh, this thing then. Oh, there you go. I thought the battery then went out. But I but I put, like, Duracell batteries into anything that I like to use. So, it does 
doesn't look bad at all. It's like a brownish type of color. It don't look bad with the like with the black. But if you want, you know, if your hair is in black, you know, ladies, then you gotta keep hitting on things. So this is what I did as well. Um, I go into my other spot of brushes as well and I just take a black SD there's a black in here let's see what's this black right here black let's see what color this is no it's not yet let me look at my other container that I have down here not in there And let's see if it's in here. Yeah, this is it. Yep, this is black. So. Alright. So, you just take this black. Take your mirror. And just put it like on the ends. But not too much of it. Because, you know, you don't want to, um mess up the eyebrow look that you just basically did so you want to just take your time make sure you grab any mirror of your choice it can be in it could be in hand it could be a handheld like this or you know the one like from the like like the dollar tree like like a designer book cute one you can design it up yourself and put some um rhinestones or there or some be jewels on there that look real cute to me okay see so now it's like that black but it'll be in with, mixed in with the brown so i didn't add too too much to this so i don't want to and i'm just taking just the black And you also want to too to make sure too that you when you have a pencil like a dark brown pencil or a, a black something that are topaz you know to match your skin tone of your eyebrows make sure it's the right pencil to match your eyebrows and you want to just trace over to your eyebrow shape or even if you just got your eyebrows done and you know um done or whatever yeah make sure you just all you gotta do is just really focus on um on the tracing your eyebrows for sure so yeah so that is done so i'm done using the black i didn't use a whole lot of it because i don't want this look to be too too, too dark and then i just take my spoolie again and i just go like this you always want to just take your time with doing your eyebrows because you know your eyebrows is your look too as well you know you want to just take your time and i'm just looking into the mirror that i have here really? so yeah so if you have any more questions for me um if you have any more questions for me i was trying to catch the top but that's okay so but if you have any more questions for me just like let me know on ig at Don Martindale, use the at symbol and then Don Martindale for sure because I'm over there posting, you know, makeup looks, you know, video, you know, that's just what I post on my Instagram. So I don't post a whole lot, but that's just what I post. So, okay, so now that is basically done. It don't take that long, but it may take you a little longer. And if you're a beginner onto your eyebrows, definitely make sure you take your time. And then this is the Shop Miss A. I love this concealer. This is a top secret concealer by it's by AOA Studio. Between a dollar and a dollar eighty-eight, your change go to any charity for um, children education and for animal of cruelty free. And then this was in cappuccino. So I'm just going to 
take this and just put it on to my bottom and I just take my finger right here and I just trace over not trace but just go like right here make a nice sharp line through my eyebrows And I hope you're liking this video so far. And I meant to say in the beginning of the video, make sure you subscribe, comment, and like. And make sure you tell your family and friends all about the beauty room. And make sure you grab yourself a snack, something to drink. Anything of your choice to drink. And make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so that way you know what videos I post and upload onto my YouTube channel called The Beauty Room. Yep, and then just take your time with your eyebrows and then the rest of your makeup, you'll, yes, just take your time, you know. Because you know how you want to look, you know. You want to look nice. And also, there's nothing wrong with meeting people online, but now, these days, you just got to be careful, you know. Know who you meet online, you know. I, I mean, I've never done it, but I always met men the natural way. Just sometimes I would go to the grocery store looking bummy as heck. Guys were like, hey, cutie, how you doing? I'm like, uh, fine. Hi. You know, I'll be nice. Of course. I'll be like, us, uh, ha, huh, whatever. No. <laughs> well, when I was younger, I was, you know, I was in my 20s, you know, my mid, uh, my, like, my 20s. You know, I was like, okay, <laughs> thank you, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> You know, but hey, each person has their own, you know, so yeah. And I'm just taking a brush from Sheen, um, I, um, brush set that I got between a 10 to 15 brush set between 10 to $15 or less on to, um, to Sheen's website. I'll leave that in the description box below. But yeah, make sure you are subscribed. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. Hello. My name is Dawn, known as The Beauty Room, and I love makeup. I have a passion for it. I love what I do. I love makeup. I, mean, I love applying it. I love to see different things, what's done, you know, on, on Instagram or TikTok. I really don't have a TikTok account, but I want to get one, but I, I'm, I'm pretty much good with just the Instagram and Facebook, so I don't really post anything on Facebook, but I do post a lot more on Instagram so if you want to connect with me or if you have any more questions for me please let me know on IG at Dawn Martindale we can connect and and be friends I don't mind yes so then I want to just check what you've done so far to your makeup and then just the rest of it, you can apply your foundation concealer after you're done with your um, with, after you're done with your foundation and yeah this is just a beginner friendly on how to do your eyebrows if you like this look or if you just got in the beginning of it or just now looking at this you at this youtube video thank you so 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 much it means so much to me from the bottom of my heart i thank you all so much you all are the best people in the whole wide world and yes, I call you all my family. So welcome to the Beauty Room family. And yeah, I hope you had a great day, a good week. Enjoyed your weekend. Did something fun, exciting, you know. Or if you haven't had any spending time with the hus with the hubby or boyfriend or fiance, you know, and your parents wanted to watch the kids or you know, or they want like kids like as in like a dog, cat, you know. And if you have kids too, that's fine. Your parents want to watch kids. I'm like, thank you. 
Here's this. Here's that. Here's the back. Peace. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> no, but yeah. But and then also, girls, if you want to, if you want to have some fun time with the girls, you know, we're in a nice hotel, you know, and look around what they have, you know, in a different city like Las Vegas, or if you're going, you know, if you're traveling this weekend, hope you made it there safely. Hope you just had a good time because in life, you got to enjoy life. You have to because it's a must. Even though it's the COVID, you know, but you got to enjoy life. You can't let this stop you. So then you always want to get a mirror, I mean, a, a mirror, of course, and just check and see how your eyebrows came out. And yes, I'm loving this. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So I hope you like this video. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the evening. Hope you enjoyed the one question that I have from a person that I know on Instagram. But if you have more questions for me, it's fine. I can I will answer any questions. Are you having any advice for me for being about to be a married woman in the next few months? Let me know too. And let me know if you have any questions about what colors is the girls' dresses are gonna be. Um, for the guys, if you have you know what type of suits or whatever they're gonna wear, I can answer that. Or if you have any questions about what I'm going to take with me to like on our honeymoon, let me know. I will answer those questions. If you have any more questions of anything, I have no problem answering them. So God bless you all and have a beautiful, blessed weekend. Enjoy, enjoy life. Don't let anything stop you. Don't let nobody stop you. You're going to only stop yourself from making your dreams and goals come true. Don't give up. Keep pushing. Put your left foot forward and your right foot forward and nothing can stop you from there. But have a blessed day and a blessed evening wherever you are. And I'll see you next video. But before I leave, let's say a quick prayer. So please bow your heads with me. Heavenly Father God, I just thank you, Lord Jesus, for this evening, for time to be spent with my subscribers and my new subscribers. I'm praying for them each and every morning and every night. I thank you, God, for them. I thank you for my subscribers that I have now. I thank you, God, for each and every one of them in their homes, their children, themselves, their significant others. God, I just thank you for each and every one of them. I thank you for life itself. I thank you for Hamilton, his family loving me, and I'm loving them. And I'm just loving my future in-laws. And I love my mom's side of family. Of course, my dad's side of family. And my dad, my stepmother, my sister, and my nephew. I love them so, so much. I love each and every person that's here on earth still. You know, people, the customers that come in our store. And I appreciate them so much each and every day. And I definitely appreciate each and every co-worker that I spend time with. As, you know, on our work schedules, our work hours. That we work with each other. I appreciate them. I pray for them. Lord, I just want to say thank you for peace and humbleness for this day and for the weekend. Continue it to be peaceful and humble for each and every person around the world. Bless each and every, every person in their home, outside the home, their relationships, their children, their selves. In Jesus' name, I ask and pray. Thank God and amen. So if you said a prayer with me, I hope that inspired you to just enjoy life, to not let to not let people take you for granted or life. Don't let life stop you for anything that you want to accomplish or do because the only person that is going to stop you is yourself. You know, the Lord Jesus Christ will guide you to whatever dreams or goals you want. You ask, you pray about what things you want in life. Like Hamilton and I, we pray every single night for each and every one of you for things and dreams and goals that we want for ourselves and for our future as the 2021, I mean, for, to, to, for 2022. I'm not saying 2021, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Right. What I'm saying is that Hamilton and I, do, we do pray to God on things that we want for 2022. That's better. Yes, we do pray for 2022, the things we want, you know, to grow for our future, for our dreams and goals. So don't let anything or anyone stop you. So please be safe out there. Stay safe and encouraged. God bless you all. Love you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.